Well, on a Sunday night here at Historic Riggs Field, the Tigers advance to the Elite Eight of the NCAA Men's Soccer Tournament with a 3-1 victory over Albany. Don Munson, Austin Bernickel, Mike Noonan. All right, Coach, let's start with you. This club, you know what? You always say you want your club playing its best at the end of the year. I think that's exactly what we're seeing. No, the performance against South Carolina was terrific, and this one was a notch above it. And, uh, you know, they stayed with it, stayed with it, uh, conceded the goal at the beginning of the second half, And uh, but we weren't going to be denied tonight, and uh, the big guy next to me took care of that. Yeah, no doubt about it. Two goals uh, tonight for you here, Austin. Let's just talk, talk me through the first one. Let's start right there uh, with the first one that was right before the end of the half. Uh, ball, uh, it's kind of one of those things when, when the ball's in the half, when ball's in their box, I, I think we always got a chance. And uh, when we've got the ball in the half, all I'm trying to do is get myself in position and what if. And the ball fell right to my feet and I was fortunate enough to get a good touch and put it on frame. All right, then they tie it up 1-1 early on in the second half. And so the, you all keep the pressure on. You did a great job, I thought, of just possessing the ball. And then with about nine minutes left, you make it 2-1. to one. Take me through that goal. Uh, you know, after we gave up that goal, I, I never really, uh, never really doubted our team, and uh, I thought our pressure got better and better. And uh, that final goal is just a testament to our pressure. We uh, give a corner and take a quick corner and keep them under pressure, and, and that's what we're all about. Yeah, Mike, is that something that maybe y'all worked on a little bit? Because we haven't seen that the entire year for almost like a little quick offense there for you. Well, it's something that. Uh, the guys do a great job. You know, they, they read what's on, and that was the right read at the right time. And, uh, you know, I think it was Diego put the ball in, and Bernie just was right there on the end of it. And they were a little slow to set up, and we took advantage of it. You know, Austin also, and I don't know if it's just me, because I've seen you all obviously play a ton this year, but it, it does seem like this team is healthy. This team has got great chemistry at this point in time. And I know it's all a battle about making it back to the Final Four and to that national championship game. I think the biggest thing tonight was we were hungrier than that team. Mm. That was a team that uh, had the look in their eye. They were a hungry team, and that's what this game came down to, who wanted it more. And that was our biggest challenge of the game, and I think we uh, you know, really uh, stepped up to the plate. Denver, Friday night, 7 o'clock, right back here on uh, this field. All right, this is your chance. What do you want to tell the fans out there? Well, we want to tell the fans that we need them, right? <laughs> the, the louder they are, the better we play. And the more of them here, the better we are. So, you know, we did our job by making sure that they got home field all the way through to the College Cup. Now they got to do their job and come out and support us. And what a weekend for the Tigers. No doubt about it. A 3-1 victory here tonight by Clemson over Albany. They advance on to the Elite Eight Friday night, 7 o'clock right here at Historic Riggs Field. Hope that you can be here. For Austin Bernickel, Mike Noonan, I'm Don Munson. Thanks for being with us here on ClemsonTigers.com.